little trip to Berlin Springs, nothing special, but it's a little slice that makes our area kind of neat. Nice little area to come to. They do have the pavilion over here. If I recall correctly, the pavilion is free. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and say that there is a fee for using that. And at the time of this recording, I don't remember what it is, um, but you do have to contact the proper authorities. The website will help you with that. The next thing is going to be the rostrum that James K. Polk, the 11th president, and Andrew Johnson, the 17th president of the United States, um, both used while speaking here at Berlin Springs. Um, next, we're going to kind of go over some of the greenery and the shrubberies. This is going to be the opening to the cave. Um, you can walk back there if you're a little bit more adventurous than I was today, but it was cold and I wasn't really willing to do that. Um, next thing you'll be able to see is going to be the little staircase, I believe. Yep, there's the staircase um, that will take you to the very top on, you know, of the, of the rock there and you'll be able to get some really good pictures. Um, and do a little bit more sightseeing up there. There's quite a bit of natural rock formations. Once again, it was a little cold, a little wet. I wasn't really willing to uh, delve that deep into it today. Now, locals will be quick to point to you that the name of the town is not Berlin, like the town in Germany, as I thought it was. I've lived here since the early 90s, and I've always thought it was Berlin. It is Berlin. There is no other way to pronounce it. If you're, you want to be correct, it is Berlin. So we'll let this be the parting shots of Berlin Springs, uh, the little park there. Um, really relaxing place to go. The next place that we're going to go is going to be the McGavick Confederate Cemetery. So these are just a few shots from the McGavick Confederate Cemetery, which this two acre plot of land houses roughly 1500 souls, some of which are still unidentified. This is actually the largest privately owned Confederate cemetery in the United States. I appreciate you taking the time and looking at everything. Um, this is kind of the format we're going to be going with. It, things are going to change a little bit. It's going to get a little bit more refined. We're going to tighten some things up. Be able to actually get good content out of this. Um, if you have any suggestions, anything like that, don't be afraid to go ahead, throw them out there, and we'll see what sticks, all right? Appreciate you stopping by.